What we need now is sound economics, is state-centered economics, is people-centered economics, is a sovereign state regaining a sovereign, a sovereign currency to spend it, to deficit spend it, which means spend it more than they tax people to create full employment, to create full education, to create full housing, uh, and to create, create full social security and even to help companies, private companies, uh, small, medium businesses uh, fulfill their expectation in sales because the state with the sovereign currency can help productivity as much as it wants. You will object that the United States of America or Britain do have a sovereign currency. And, and how come they are in such a poor state of affairs? Well, the reason is that they are not applying modern money theory. They are not applying this economic system of expenditure that benefits for the people. They can issue as much money as they want. They just issue it to further the elite and not for the people. The United States of America has printed, let's say printed, 29 trillion US dollars in the last three years. Where do they go? to a tiny 1% of elites, of bankers and financial institutions. If this money had been spent for the people, America would be a different country. And the same applies to Britain. democratic way to handle the economy is called modern money theory. It's an American school of economics. Uh, it's, uh, uh, it has its center at the University of Missouri, Kansas City and the Levy Institute, Bard College in New York. Uh, we are inviting these economists uh, uh, to Italy to explain to the Italian people how to defend themselves from the financial coup d'etat, how to allow Italy to regain its monetary uh, sovereignty and how to use that monetary sovereignty for the benefit of the majority.